so this original live stream was focused on creativity on the drum set, creativity with ambient music, mostly around the drum set. And I wanted to expand on this a little bit by talking about one of the clips here and what I'm doing because I wasn't able to talk and play at the same time. So um, if you're interested in how do I create new rhythms, how do I make up drum parts, those kinds of questions, then this, this uh, short commentary might uh, be useful to you. You know, sometimes the music can dictate uh, what it is that um, you're doing. And in those cases, that, that's kind of a separate subject and separate video. But you could still use these concepts for that. And you could still use these concepts for any melodic instrument as well. So this idea of, you know, coming up with rhythms. How do I come up with beats? How do I come up with rhythms, you know? And in this case, I am specifically loading the deck in a, in a certain way. Stacking the deck, I guess, in a certain way. Uh, in that... I'm playing against a drone, so there's zero rhythmic reference in this when I did this live stream, or in this particular clip. And later I did one with a rhythmic, like an arpeggiated sequence. So the idea is I'm making this from nothing, from scratch. And, I'm, and, and by the way, this is improvised, was not planned at all, had zero idea what I was about to do. Um, I, I do a lot of this, and I've been playing a long time, and so it comes more quickly to me, but that's kind of what I wanted to talk about was some ways to give you some tips of how to, you know, come up with, with something like that on the spot. And it also can help, you know, sometimes when you're playing with, if you're just doing, you know, if a beat is what's called for, you know, just a straight ahead kind of beat, you can still use these ideas um, to make your beats more creative, make them more interesting, things like that. And I'm not going to talk too much about technical terms in terms of like moving accents on across 16th notes or something like that, but uh, maybe, maybe for another video. So in the beginning here, right here, I started sort of singing a rhythm or, or had a rhythm in my head. So I built everything else on that. Now, where did this come from? That's the creativity part that, you know, we can talk about, but a great way to start besides just, you know, just sitting on the set and just doing it, like, let's make up a rhythm, you know, what happens if, you know, is to practice singing rhythms as I was just kind of doing a second ago. When you hear a beat that you like or something that you, um, let's say it's, you know, some, some drummer that plays in an interesting way that you like, practice singing the rhythm. You know, if it's mm, ka, mm, ka, mm, ka, mm, mm, whatever it is, <laughs> practice doing that because singing rhythms is a unique way to internalize the beat structure. It's a way to get your brain to really get a hold of It's the same thing with, it's, it's ear training for rhythm, basically, is what it is. It's exactly what they do in music school when they are teaching rhythms. Same thing with, um, with pitch training, interval training, all these things. You, most people need to be able to sing them before in, in, and internalize them in that way before they can just imagine them. So to get it from your, your brain through all the vocal apparatus out of your body and then your, brain, your ears hear it and it, it's a feedback system. It goes back into your brain and you're solidifying. You're solidifying that rhythm, those things. And once you've done some of this, same way with 
well, pitch training is a different subject, but once you've done some of this, then you can start to expand on it. You can change the rhythm, you can change the accents, you can do all these things. So in this case, when I started this beat, again, just, you know, it, it, I, I've played a lot and done a lot of this, so it just came out. In the beginning of this video, I talked about this live stream. I talked about um, this idea of playing something you've never played before. Like just kind of like regurgitating just something just blah, like play something you just blah, 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 you know. And that's also an exercise that's a, a, a good way to, again, it's maybe not that, I don't know how musically useful it is if you're actually playing something that you've never played before. Sometimes you can, you know, play something that's, that sounds good that you never played before. But if you're honest with yourself, um, you know, if it's not just a, a beat that you've played a million times, um, that can be a good way to get in touch with that part of your sort of unconscious, right? Or you're, you're just uh, letting things flow. So it's almost like I'm writing a song within a song here, right? Because there's no, there's no, there's just that's all we have is the, is the, this synthesizer drone. And so I'm, I'm putting some icing on top of that cake by coming up with this rhythm. And everything I played is, is based around that, whatever that thing I played, you know, do, go, do, 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 go, do, go, do, go, do, go, do, go, do, and then stop and start, et cetera, et cetera. So play around with this, try it, and let me know in the comments if you've ever done something like this, if it helps you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them. This is the Studio Drummer signing off. Thanks for watching.